sir while our country is soon becoming the third largest economy with the representatives of this house of the people should observe that 77 percentage of the total national wealth is with 10 percent population and only 23 percent of the wealth is with the remaining 90 percent of the population sir this inequality between the rich and the poor has to be addressed and necessary steps has to be taken to ensure that poor people grow wealthier in our country only then becoming third largest economy soon will have some meaning and sanctity sir sir coming to income tax sir sir the share of individual income tax payer in gdp has increased from 2.5% in 2017-18 to 3.64% in 2024 and 25 sir sir a comparison with brics economies shows that effective personal income tax rate in india is among the highest sir section 80d of the income tax act allows tax deductions deductions of up to 25000 rupees every financial year on health insurance premium sir this deduction limit has remained the same for the last 10 years sir but on the other side the medical expenses of every individual is growing in a very big way from the last 10 years sir so to address this issue necessary steps has to be taken to enhance the deduction limit up to 1 lakh rupees per financial year on health insurance premiums keeping in view of the increased medical expenditure sir sir the new tax regime curtails several important tax deduct deductions leaving people disincentivized from switching on from the old regime sir deductions under section 80c 80d and 80e and various other deductions are not permitted under the new tax regime leaving middle class people and the poor people into dissatisfaction and financial stress and strain sir sir coming to indirect indirect taxes and gst indirect tax collections are increasing every year by year sir government has been seeing record gst collections with a significant increase in july 2024 totaling to an amount of 182075 crores sir marking 10.3% rise compared to july 2023 which was 165000 for 65000 crores sir given this high collections now the government should come forward and consider reducing or exempting gst rates on certain basic goods and services which are commonly consumed by the poor and the middle class sir on behalf of the weavers i request the government to exempt 5% gst on the raw material used by the weavers sir and on behalf of the fishermen we request fishermen are making a request to me long time sir for gst exemption on components used for making fishing nets including nylon twines ropes and floats sir sir and farming community you very well know sir it is in severe distress we have to address the issues of farming community sir sir a new act has to be introduced in this house fixing msp for all crops produced by the farmers in this country sir sir and, and more importantly sir to promote farm mechanization and to support farmers gst should be exempted exempted for all farm supplements sir sir and more importantly sir 18% gst is collected on health insurance premium and life insurance premium sir sir we strongly request the government to withdraw gst on life insurance and health insurance premiums sir sir coming to our state andhra pradesh sir our former chief minister sri vyas jagan mohan reddy garu requested honorable prime minister several times to grant special category status to andhra pradesh as promised in this house sir by the then prime minister sri manmohan manmohan singh ji we strongly urge the government 
to grant special category status for Andhra Pradesh and fulfill the promise made in this house, sir. Sir, in AP Reorganization Act, establishment of steel plant at Kadapa was promised to us, sir. We strongly urge the government to establish steel plant at Kadapa, sir. Sir, in the same AP Reorganization Act, railway zone at Vizag was assured to us, sir. We urge the government to implement its promise, sir. Sir, more importantly, we request the government, we request the government to withdraw its plan to privatize Vizag steel plant, sir. Sir, thank you. Once, one, I once again thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Uh, inform the August House why there was a need to bring this bill, which is the Bharatiya Vayan Videya. And this obviously originates from the Aircraft Act, which has been established during the British time in 1934. And lot of amendments have been made in the Act over numerous occasions, sir. At least to the tune of 21 amendments have been made. And while the amendments have been made, they have been put up, uh, plugged into the uh, original Act in bits and pieces. So because of which there was a lot of uh, uh, confusion in the Act, there was a lot of grey area, there was a lot of redundancy which has uh, originated. And also, whatever civil aviation guidelines, rules, protocols that we follow in this country, it is, it, it is, it is, I'll just explain to the August House that why I'm bringing the bill first and then I'll come to your point also, sir. So this is because of the ICAO. IKAO, whatever guidelines and procedures it suggests, we follow them so that it is, uh, uh, we are recognized globally to be an important signatory of the IKAO, sir. And according to that, we have brought a new principal act, which whatever uh, confusion was there earlier, whatever redundancy was there, we have totally uh, kept it outside and we have brought a consolidated principal act which is going to address all the concerns or the recommendations which ICAO has uh, recommended us. And coming to the point where the Honorable MP Premchandranji has raised, sir, regarding the 348-1B or the 120 and 343, sir, all these points have been extensively discussed during the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita, Bharatiya Sakshiya Dinayam and Evi Jan Vishwas and then Binami Property. Yes, yes. There was discussed. We, we, yes. we have properly... I, I don't see any reason we are we are not violating any constitutional provision by mentioning the name of the act as Bharatiya Vayan Videk. What is the problem? What is the problem with it? There is no problem at all, sir. We are trying to Bharatiya ek nahi pehchan ham banana chahte hain. Uske liye humne Bharatiya Vayan Videk rakha hai to uske liye kisi ko koi dikkat nahi honi chahiye, sir. It is just to create our own identity we are keeping, considering the constitutional provision, considering the constitutional provision, sir. All the other, that text is in English only. There shouldn't be any problem, sir. I request the whole house to provide the permission to introduce the bill. Sun International Vijaya Bheri, Bachelor of Hotel Management or University First Rank, Second Rank, Third Rank. BSc Food and Nutrition Law University First Rank, Second Rank, Third Rank. BBA Law University Second Rank, Third Rank. Sadhin Tadam Kevalam Sun International Vijayarthula ke Sadhiam Sun International.